Hello, together. Um, yeah, once again back on the road. Well, um, was well, just like at uh, lunchtime. Well, yeah, lunchtime was about on the polar circle. Then now I drive, drove northwards. Further northward to um, they come to a national park, uh, kind of museum, and where I did gather some further information about my little road trip that I'm doing. Uh, I asked there uh, actually at the desk uh, some points that uh, she would recommend to look at. Uh, actually like uh, on the way through through the area which I hi highly rec highly recommend to do it is um, well the thing that the advice that she gave to me is actually um, because I said that, uh, that I was also um, wild camping so she actually recommended me to make a hike and I think I do that because I the, the luck to find a lot of um, uh, call it um, wild stock and she uh, actually recommended me um, uh, one national park there, that there wouldn't be like too much hikes around so it could be pretty possible to In actually find like, uh, well, it wouldn't be like too much hikes around so they the wild stock wouldn't get, get nervous and would go out of the way. Which I prefer. Very much prefer actually. So my intention is actually now to go to this national park. <coughs> I just uh, just have to look which um, road I have to take because I have to go somewhere here right. There. I have to go right and there will be oh then I have to go once again once again right in that case because it's still the main road. I don't know which, how it's called, the park. Hmm. I would have to look it up on the map. Uh, I can't remember it, which is no chance. I, so I, well I look it up uh, in the end of the video, I have to take this, uh, the map out and that's just no chance at the moment, uh, especially during driving and that, so uh, yeah, later on. I still have 30 kilometers to drive. Uh, like 24 kilometers and then go left. Why do I have to go left? Ah, uh, well, uh, because the, I'm a little bit suspicious about that because um, the park is actually on the right side of the main road. It comes in, which comes in very handy. Oh, 
this one had some kind of problem. Uh, the one of his uh, rear sideways glasses were broken. Uh, no clue what happened. Must have smashed something against it. Weather looks like it uh, would be nice because uh, it's just now and then these kind of white uh, clouds just on the top somewhere and that's all. kilometers this day but actually the first 100 was into the middle of nowhere so I might actually like 200 kilometers today which is actually not quite enough but I think I keep it all up tomorrow because I really want to hike this park there and it's going to be 4 o'clock when I arrive well, maybe 5 to 4 depends how fast he drives here at the front yeah, maybe 4 o'clock and yeah, make a hike I actually don't have the equipment well, it didn't look to Say that. I didn't look specifically to um, make a hike, I just kind of left the option or, uh, open for it because uh, the small tent is uh, actually quite good to do so. So uh, take the grill with me. I know it actually could make it easier, just take the axe with me find the wood on the way, yeah, but I want to do, uh, do spaghetti uh, because it's actually right, right, lightweight to carry, so I uh, did take some tomato soup just because I can add some water with it that I will cook previously, well, at, at the place where I am, I hope the, the water is good, the wood quality is, is, is good. So I will just take water from the river and we we'll cook it up and hope it is enough. It has like other contaminations in it. So I think that works out pretty good actually. So I just have cooked the the the. the the, the, the spaghetti first, pour a little bit of water out and put the tomato sauce in, uh, put tomato soup in because I wanted that tomato actually as a sauce so I don't need that much water to it in the spaghetti then anymore. So then I have like kind of a yeah, spaghetti, normal spaghetti. I will take like two tuna cans and that's my supper in that case. But I'm very convinced that, that it works very well. That I don't have to, well, with the tomato, spaghetti, tomato soup and tuna. It's actually a very simple dish light to carry because the spaghetti is dried with no water, the tomato soup is dry, so actually 
heavy things to carry is uh, two cans with the, the, with the tuna in But I did decide to take the tuna with the salt water. So, can pour the ah, salt water, huh? That's actually quite handy because uh, so I can spicy the dish up a little bit. So I don't pour like all the uh, salt water out, just keep up a little bit and put it then into the soup and that, so it will be uh, uh, well, quite a bit of flavor then. Hopefully not too much, uh, make the right mix. The hit is in the mix, eh? That kind of uh, uh, dish. Well, how to prepare it, because I have only one pan. Well, so we have to do it like, because I'm hiking, and just put it all in one and make it out of one. So uh, we'll make it in it and we'll eat out of it and clean afterwards. So that's actually the, my supper then. Kind of good. Easy and good. But, so I have to carry the tent. Take some water with me just for drinking during the hike. Yeah, well, I don't know how, how much water I should take because during uh, walking we need more water than uh, when you just sit there and drive with the car. I probably take like three liters with me, but it's only intended to drink from it. Not for nothing else. So I will have enough water, but it's better to have enough water with you than when you turn thirsty and you can't find like really water. But it will be a river there because I'm hiking up to a waterfall, which will be just in the wow south west region of this park, very tip where you hike into the park. So there should be like five kilometers to there. So it should be quite easy to do. Well I think it's about five kilometers like uh, one hour. Eh? So I have to actually gather my stuff, walk up hopefully reach a destination that I prefer just just in time because uh, I would like to put my uh, place up about at six o'clock would be nice it's already four o'clock so I uh, got a material of that so I would have like one and a half hour to hike maybe just when I hurry up and uh, Give it, give it, give it, give it. Well, it will be my, uh, well, quite a good look, good look, good looking uh, attempt to uh, find like uh, quite a bit of a wild stock. So I, I missed that kind of day because when I made it through the night, then uh, can make like a little hike uh, around the site. Maybe I uh, would like to, and then go back. Depends. Uh, when it's like that nice, uh, that I can't, can't imagine to find a. Uh, Another place with more wildlife than that. Uh, pretty much to spend like the tomorrow, like to till lunchtime, something like that, and to the evening to uh, hurry up and carry on. I don't know about my fitness at the moment because the last 40 days I did 
nothing at all. But previously, before that, I was well. Previous, I was uh, chugging, so I was quite fit. So yeah, I chugged like 10 kilometers distances by good, So should be actually good to do, to, to do a hike now for me. I just hope I didn't. Uh, lose too much of my um, strength because I paused like that a lot that long because of the driving and it's just um, kind of difficult to make it uh, evening stop and just make like a, a evening run because there are well, when there would be like all the times like hot springs around then I would, because the water would be warm, but just like that, it's just too cold. You come out of the water, it's cold, you have nowhere to heat up, and... Eh, well, remember, I'm wild camping, so... Um, sort of... Well, I know, but of course I drive during the day with the car around, so there's no, no, no uh, problem with, uh, with the warmth. Well, there is, but because of more, too much of all. Um, so, in the night, in the tent, if the worst thing can happen, the things are, are wet and that, then you have a serious problem. I don't know where, where he's from actually, from, from the front here. Can't see it. Could be Germany or something like that. That could be also Denmark. I don't think <coughs> I don't think that's a Norwegian no, number play. Ah it looks German. Oh, kind of. Till 13 kilometers to the final destination. Yeah, well, that's... Mm -hmm. I thought I did see something, but... Uh, just piece of wood. Not too much traffic to, uh, to see something like here. 
far too much. They are, they are just continuous, continuously calm coming. Five eight five. That should be the next. Um, uh, how we call it? Next um, the road that I should take. Five oh eight five eight five. And should go eastwards. Well, kind of northeast. Because this road should carry on actually to the northwest. So I hope I didn't, ma didn't do any mistakes to um, put that thing in, in the navigation system, well, into my navigation system. Oh, sorry mates, I turned. I have to go out there. Go for a close look there. I did see a spot that right would be... Nah, it can't be like that this close, huh? It must be kind of old or something like that. Take a look what, what it is because somehow it does look it did look like an animal, but it wouldn't make any sense. Straße, dann rechts ab die N. Links abbiegen in die Straße, dann rechts ab die N. Well, that's that.
uh, must have been a rock or something rechts like that. Rechts abbiegen in die Straße, dann rechts abbiegen. Rechts abbiegen auf die E6. like a large round object in the water there. It did look like fur because of, well, it did appear somehow like a, like a fur, furly kind, kind of color. So, I can't see anything. Fahren Sie zwei Kilometer, dann schauf links, abbiegen auf die 585. Uh, looks like a, uh, you have to go uh, just like a little bit through the village to uh, change the road. Go from the main road to a secondary road. Because there is no main road to the national park. There's a little bit off the off the grid, so that makes it interesting. Well, no, no national park Nach is actually on, on the main road. Okay. So not, not so really. So you yeah, are still actually with yeah, every park you have to carry on driving like a bit. I'm not quite sure. Oh, yeah, it is possible. Oh, that's how it looks like here. Nach 850 I wasn't quite sure if that thing wants to fool me or what. Uh, because uh, the road couldn't have been on the navigation system, so. Uh, I would have to, had to look myself for it. Wouldn't be the first time, huh? Well, lucky me it is. Ooh, another tunnel. Yeah. yeah, from one tunnel, tunnel to another one. It's also kind of good. Well, the sides are getting very good, so that's actually the side of road I prefer. Huh? Just getting in. Hopefully it gets to a gravel road, then it will be perfect. Well, at least for me, not for all. Warm showers, huh, mate? Well, I would think of the, this kind of area like you have this 
bands that goes to the lake out and surrounded by the forest. I could think of that would be very attractive for a moose, but I never saw one in this kind of area, so yeah, sad enough. So I'll carry on driving till I find my spot to park. So I maybe change my clothes a little bit. Well, I have to. Well, I have to. Want to? Um, have and want to. That was very good. And well, then may make a setup for the hike. Take my good old military boots out. Uh, my army boots. Um, I just wonder if I have normal warm enough because uh, I didn't uh, was warm enough uh, when I was uh, actually in the army, army with them. So uh, now it's even colder. So. Socks on. Well, I will take my new sleeping bag with me because it will get certainly cooler up there. 16 degrees now, but I, I do expect, expect it to drop to about 5 degrees because it's I'm already like a little bit more north than yesterday night and they did go to about 7 degrees. It, which is kind, well not really cold but when you're not, when you're just laying there with a summer sleeping bag, yeah it is cold, especially when you're not moving. want to sleep actually. I wonder if I should take some coffee with me. Actually, well, I wouldn't know where, where to put it. Because I thought well, I did pack some coffee for me. Oh, well, what's now? Hello? Oh, oh um, yeah, scheisse. <laughs> ja, ja. Das geht ewig, es ist alles noch vollgestoßen, ja. aber sorry. <lacht> sorry, ja. Well, also a nice Swiss chap, eh? Um, what, what a, what a co coincident, eh? I'm driving in Norway, far away from Switzerland, the first chap that comes out of the bush. That's a Swiss one, eh? <laughs> That's weird. Well, actually I say there, there are no coinc coincidences, so... Coincidences? Yeah, lucky. Well, I just uh, start. My car is up. When you would see it, it's just absolutely full. I just crammed it up till to till to the roof, so it drive off. Sure enough that I have enough material with me, and yeah, I do have enough material with me. Just uh, some like two or three items I want actually to get rid of. So yeah, actually I have a little chair uh, that I bought wrong, 
I, I wanted to buy, to buy for me a carpet chair and uh, I was just in the store there and I did take the child side one eh? and I was, drove off eh? just like another, I think it was even like 600 kilometers next campsite and then yeah Ah, that's a child size camp chair. Oh, shit. Oh, I, well, a little bit too late. And yeah, it's still in my car. Eh? Can't use it. Well, maybe could to do my feet on it or something like that, just to lean back and get a little bit more in the comfort, comfort zone. Eh? I wonder if, if it is the right uh, where I drive here. Uh, I bought in the natural park um, a detail map. So there should be actually this village in it and the car park lot. The car park lot, well. Ah, that's that. Yeah. That's that. That is it. Now, which one is the Swiss one there? Can't see it. I can't see any Swiss number plates. Are you kidding me? Now, uh, am I right here? Well, wait a moment. Traditional drive with the car as far as far as you can get. Storkovich. Ah, that's the hotel. Eight kilometers. Rago National Park is 4.5 kilometers, and the entrance is the waterfall with about five kilometers. So that's that. Yeah. Put a little bit beside. In case someone wants to come out. So, ah, oh yeah, I did say I look it up on the map, the name of the park. Now, where is the map? Well, as I said, I have a lot of materials with me, and I just have my did my sh grocery shopping just previously, so it's crammed just over the place. And my I tend to just chuck things over to the to the passenger seat when I want to go somewhere. Ah, oh, here's the Norway map. So, it is the park called... Come on, mate. No, that's not the name. That's on the wrong side. Here. Yeah. Rago National Park. Yeah. Which looks nice, very nice. And I will go over to La Fortin afterwards. But <clears throat> I will drive to about the middle somewhere to Schutvika because there's a nice yellow road I, when I look at the map. And I also don't miss a lot of the of the site so of the of the road. So I make the love to go to to the to the, the to the tip and back. I did get a tip from the from the lady there from the national guide nas national park kind of things reception there and. I will look it up and search for it. 
And for you, well, have a nice evening. Eh? I'm off. Bye-bye.